Let's talk about sodium equivalents and isotonicity. Isotonicity minimizes tissue damage and improves drug efficacy. And it's a really important concept when you're mixing drug solutions with blood and fluids, particularly of the eye, the nose, or the bowels. I would really encourage you to review chapter eight of the text to distinguish hypotonic versus hypertonic differences and their relation to isotonicity. For a particular drug, there is a single concentration at which the, sol the solution becomes isotonic with blood serum and tears, which makes it safer and probably more effective. Solutions that have a similar osmotic pressure as 0.9% sodium chloride, what we know as normal saline, are isotonic with physiologic fluids. So this is kind of our benchmark. The sodium chloride's equivalent of a substance can be determined by multiplying the number of grams of substances included in a prescription by its sodium chloride equivalent. So let's apply these concepts to a problem from your textbook. We're given the following prescription. Cocaine hydrochloride, 1.2 grams. Sodium chloride, quantity sufficient. Purified water, quantity sufficient to make a total volume of 30 milliliters. The question is, how much sodium chloride should be used to make this eye solution isotonic? The sodium chloride equivalent of cocaine hydrochloride is 0.16. So the first thing that we need to do is to calculate the number of grams of sodium chloride needed to make a solution isotonic based on the desired prescription volume. So if you remember, the concentration of sodium chloride is 0.9%. And this basically converts to 0.9 grams of sodium chloride over 100 mLs. Then what we need to do is use the total desired amount, which was 30 mLs, to determine the amount of grams in this solution. So this is 0.27 grams of sodium chloride. The next thing that we needed to do is to calculate the amount of sodium chloride osmotically equivalent to cocaine hydrochloride. And this is as simple as just multiplying the amount of the cocaine hydrochloride by the sodium chloride equivalent. So what this looks like is 1.2 grams times 0.16 equals 0.192 equivalents which then we know would be equal to 1.192 grams of sodium chloride. Our final step is to subtract these two amounts to get the amount of sodium chloride needed. Once we've calculated the equivalent of cocaine hydrochloride, then we can use that information to subtract that from the initial amount, the total amount of sodium chloride that we determined we needed, and the difference that we get will be the amount of sodium chloride that we need for this prescription.